Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us and Happy New Year. Joe has the night off. On the eve of Inauguration Day for the Honolulu City Council, there's a big question mark hanging over the District 4 seat. In the Supreme Court, the state court is weighing in after an opponent filed a challenge. And with that Supreme Court decision pending and the race not certified, Councilman Trevor Ozawa may not be sworn into office. Sarah Madison with a follow-up tonight. Sarah. Howard and Marissa, the court justices asked for more information on the margin of error for the electronic vote counting machines. The state's response? There's no reason to believe there is a margin of error. In a declaration filed Monday, Chief Election Officer Scott Nago says the machines are tested. Voters are instructed in the manner in which to properly mark their ballots. And there are audits. I have no reason to believe there is a margin of error as it relates to marks made in the uniform manner established by my office. According to the Office of Elections, Councilman Trevor Ozawa beat candidate Tommy Waters by only 22 votes. Waters could not be reached for comment, but he has requested a recount. In a statement, Ozawa says he's hopeful the Supreme Court will make a swift and fair decision dismissing the pending protests. District 4 will remain without any representation until the court issues its ruling. Further delays will result in District 4 staff members being without employment after January 2, 2019. That's when Ozawa is scheduled to be sworn in and voted in as council chair. As vice chair, Councilwoman Kimberly Pine says the council has several options while the District 4 seat technically remains vacant. One, of course, is just to take a recess and until a later date or should I feel that the council has come to a consensus on a temporary chair uh, then we will move forward with that. Councilwoman Ann Kobayashi says it can be a little more complicated with only eight members to make a decision. We're already divided sort of informally divided 4-4. Four, four. Um, but we can always work things out because all of the council members know that we have a lot of work to do and we have to keep moving forward. Now, a couple of the council members are hoping the Supreme Court judgment will be made before noon tomorrow before the inauguration takes place. We'll keep track and let you know what happens. The Supreme Court also made a similar order for the State Senate District 19 election, another tight race between Kirk Favela and Matt Lopresti. Marissa.